Hey everybody, it's Mrs. Cat, and I'm going to talk to you today about the fusion of gases. At this point, you have looked at the smelly particles simulation, and we're going to kind of sum this up and draw particle diagrams of what you saw in the simulation. So, this process is called diffusion, and when we're looking at this idea of diffusion for this particular setup, we're talking about diffusion of gases. Okay, and this is going to be the gradual mixing of particles of different gases. At any temperature other than absolute zero, all atoms, regardless of their state of matter, gas, liquid, or solid, are constantly in motion. Okay, and I hope that we saw that in our simulation. Since the movement of particles is associated with the physical state, and that's solid, liquid, or gas, the particles of perfume will collide with other gas particles and spread out and mix with the particles in the air. So this is what you saw in the simulation. If we were in a physical space, you could do this with perfume or Febreze or something like that. But in the simulation, you saw these smelly particles, a um, variety of different things in the simulation. I think it starts out with vanilla and fish, and you see those particles released into the room until they ultimately get to the person who's going to detect them with their, sm with their sense of smell from their nose. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna just draw particles for one smell um, instead of two like you saw in the simulation. So, um, I'm going to use green as my particles, and just like with any particle diagram, if we were to show these multiple smells, we want to show them in a different way. Um, we would. We also want to make sure that we're conserving mass, we're conserving matter. So I'm going to keep track of how many particles I draw in my first box, okay? and this is going to be kind of like a timeline. First is the beginning, the middle, and the end of um, what we see. So I'm going to put... So let's just put a little person here in the corner in each of these. Okay, so there's our person. And we're, I'm going to use the top left-hand corner of the box as where my particles are being released. So I'm going to start out with 10 particles, and I'm going to put them 7, 8, 9, 10, close to one another. Okay, now just like I just talked about, at any temperature other than absolute zero, all of these particles, regardless of whether they're solid, liquid, and gas, are going to be constantly moving. So what happens is gradually these particles of scent, whatever they may be, perfume is what we're talking about here, are going to start bumping into other particles in the room, okay, air particles, um, whatever, you know, that's going to consist of. So it'll be bumping into oxygen and nitrogen and carbon dioxide, um, and as that happens, they're going to bump and they're going to spread out. So I'm going to keep my 10 particles. I'm going to spread them out a little bit more. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay. And then that's kind of in the middle. And then ultimately, they're going to spread out even more until two things happen. Okay. One, which is what we're talking about here. This, our person can smell the perfume that was released. Okay? That's because the second thing is happening, which is the particles of our gaseous perfume have expanded to fill the space of the container. Okay? Again, this is what's going to happen in diffusion of gases. Next time, we're going to look at diffusion of liquids at different temperatures. Because we saw this in our demonstration, um, in the simulation, I want to make sure that we make a note about what happens with particles of different size, and that is about how quickly they move. So we can say larger particles move slower than smaller particles. Okay, great. Um, please let me know if you have any questions about this. And like I said, next time we'll look at diffusion of liquids.